Gillett is the biggest selling band you've never heard of. <laughs> In fact, people still call us Skittle sometimes. Oh, that band's Skittle. No one can make this better. Take control, it's now or never. Are you sick of it? It was like, almost like for the first eight years, it felt like every show was trying to, to win people, trying to convince them. We can them win two of these people. Yeah, it was usually about like half the show is gone and you start to feel these people like us now. You know, we're winning fans. And I think that's the reason Skillet has become successful over the years. We've kept those fans and we, we do everything we do to, to give them a show. So now we're beginning to hear the roar at the <laughs> beginning of a show and there really is nothing like it. We started working on the record. We started doing demos several years ago for yeah. the record and we, we were riding like crazy even on tour we were riding and you know it just took it took a long time to get time to ride I mean it was just we were touring so much and then there was so much pressure on you know so much pressure now because to follow up the platinum album yeah. everybody's like whoa you got to raise the bar raise the bar raise the bar I'm like how far can you raise this bar I don't know we we're tired I can't even <laughs> know. rise is basically uh, the story of your average American teenager being growing up, you know, coming of age and being faced with the unbelievable problems of the world. All of the school shootings and, and bombings, all these massive world problems, but also being faced with inward problems of Hollywood telling me who I've got to be, my friends at school bullying me, my parents divorced, trying to find out who I am and all my own insecurities and, and feeling insignificant. And it's a story about being faced with that and trying to find faith in a, in a faithless world, in a seemingly hopeless world, to rise above. You know, it's not just a Christian message, it's a message for humans all over the world. How are we going to do that? This is the call tonight. We rise, rise. A lot of times in rock music, it's me singing about me. I this, I feel this, I feel this. And this album is very we. It's very we oriented. Tonight, we rise. So hopefully it'll challenge people to rise up. I remember when we were listening to Rise especially, I was feeling really moved by it and I was feeling like, just seeing something in my head and I, I was uh, reading David and Goliath. So that's why I came up with um, a little girl um, with a slingshot, kind of like she's standing up to the world around her and she's choosing to fight, even though she may look insignificant and weak. I, she also symbolizes power. Cutting through the American noise, you got a voice. In terms of trying new things, Corey and I write a lot of music together. I'm the, the super rock guy. She brings a lot of alternative and indie influences and, and her weird keyboard world. I call it weird keyboard world. To me, it feels really mm -hmm. fresh. The keyboards on the record, to me, feel extremely exciting and, oh, and yeah. really cool for a rock band. There are things that you know your fans love about you, so do, we don't want to get away from those things. So we still have the songs with the guy girl vocal, the string orchestration, all that stuff is still there, so nobody freak out. <laughs> no <laughs> freaking out. Great. Sounds like a hit, can't get enough of it. Rah! This being my first album, coming into the band, it's like if I could pick to suit my style, it's like this album. So it's just, it's. And you got awesome solos too. Totally. You got some wicked guitar wicked. solos. <laughs> And when people say, what was your biggest influence writing this record, I, it's, it's the fans. I know what they're going through because I talk to them, you know, online. I talk to them on Twitter and I talk to them at shows. I know what they're going through and I think that's why we write songs that they go, how, oh, it feels like you know my life. And you say, well, I do. You tweet me. <laughs> you tweet me 10 times a week. Somebody come and save me from this Writing music's fun, but for me, performing is what it's all about. Because you know when somebody's out there singing a song um, and they're, they're singing back to you, you know that you've written something that's impactful to them and uh, that it's maybe touched them in some way, you know, and then I feel like Bono. <laughs> not, not really. We're doing some amazing tours. You know, we're doing Carnival of Madness with Shine Down and Papa Roach. There's a whole list of amazing bands. Any band you can tour with, what would it be? And Nickelback to me is the perfect band for us to go out with. And we're going to Europe with them, which we've not done much in Europe. It's you know, it's a whole new market for us. So we're thankful they they asked us to tour.
The things with Skillet is Christian music, the title, Christian music, means a lot of different things to different people. Yes, we sing songs about our faith, but not all of our songs are about our faith. I think when they meet us, when we have a chance to sit face to face and say, this is why I believe what I believe, I think they, they go, all right, I think I get it. But it's the idea that we play loud music. Um, you know, somebody at our show said, I just, I saw that concert and he had all the fire going. I didn't know if I was in heaven or hell. And it, it looks just like that Kiss band. And you know, when they left, I was like, we look like Kiss. I am so happy.